U.S. Empire views Ukrainians and Russians as lab rats for weapons testing. A surprisingly frank article by the New York Times titled Western Allies Look to Ukraine as a Testing Ground for Weapons describes how the imperial war machine is capitalizing on the U.S. proxy war to test its weapons for future use. Ukraine has become a testing ground for state-of-the-art weapons and information systems and new ways to use them that Western political officials and military commanders predict could shape warfare for generations to come, writes the New York Times' Laura Jakes. Jakes writes that new advances in technology and training in Ukraine are being closely monitored for the ways they are changing the face of the fight. These new technological advancements include an information system known as Delta, as well as remote-controlled boats, anti-drone weapons known as Skywipers, and an updated version of an air defense system built in Germany that the German military itself has yet to use. A former Lithuanian president is quoted as saying, We're learning in Ukraine how to fight, and we're learning how to use our NATO equipment, adding, It is shameful for me because Ukrainians are paying with their lives for these exercises for us. Yeah, no shit. At some point, the New York Times article was retitled from Western Allies Look to Ukraine as a Testing Ground for Weapons to the slightly less obvious... For Western weapons, the Ukraine war is a beta test. News that the West is using Ukraine to test weapons systems for future wars aligns with recent comments by the commander of the U.S. nuclear arsenal that the proxy war is a test run for a much bigger conflict that's on its way. The Ukraine crisis that we're in right now, this is just the warm-up, said U.S. STRATCOM head Charles Richard at a naval conference earlier this month. The big one is coming, and it isn't going to be very long before we're going to get tested in ways that we haven't been tested in a long time. So in addition to being used to advance long-standing U.S. geostrategic objectives, apparently this war is also being used to sharpen the imperial war machine's claws for a looming hot war with China and or Russia. The U.S. would certainly have an advantage in military test runs over the years in such a conflict. As an aside, it is probably worth noting that all the testing of new Western weapons technology would likely explain reports from Ukrainian astronomers that the skies over Kyiv have been swarming with unidentified flying objects, UFOs. The aforementioned New York Times article quotes Ukrainian Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov as saying that the weapons testing he's seen has convinced him that the wars of the future will be about maximum drones and minimal humans. One of the many reasons the U.S. and its complex network of allies, partners, and assets are always fighting so many wars is because new weapons technology needs to be tested in battle before it can be deemed effective. What this means in practice is using human bodies as test subjects the way a scientist uses laboratory rats or guinea pigs. The U.S. centralized empire pretends to care about Ukrainian lives, but in reality it only cares about them to the extent that a researcher cares about his lab rats, and for exactly the same reason. What could be more sinister than that? Well, the agendas that they are running those tests in preparation for, I suppose.